Okay, low. So we are back. And this time we have a nice laptop to repair. Huh? HP i5. HP i5. Yeah? It is a nice laptop. Good. We're going to attempt to fix the worst fault ever. So let's see what the customer is saying. So the customer is saying the laptop was boot, uh, booting up and after a short period of time, the screen corrupted and stopped responding. Then the customer is saying if he's uh, flexing the laptop on the right corner, uh, the laptop will boot. So basically the motherboard has like uh, somewhere like a poor uh, solder and uh, the laptop is freezing and the screen is getting corrupted. Yeah. Why is the worst, worst fault? This is the worst fault because it can be from anything. Yeah. So it can be from anywhere. So let's split. Yeah. The screen getting corrupted on two ways. Yeah. On the one way, the screen getting corrupted, but it's not freezing. Yeah. And that's a GPU issue. On the GPU, you can have like kind of, of all kind of stuff on the screen, but it's not freezing. The laptop, it will freeze and the screen get corrupted. When you have a problem, CPU, RAM memory, chipset. So any problem there, you'll get the screen getting corrupted and uh, it will freeze. Now I know when the screen gets corrupted, many people think, okay, this is a RAM issue. This must be easy. But the thing is, every RAM truck yeah, is going under the CPU. So yeah, and the best case scenario can be like, a RAM slot issue, but also can be a CPU or chipset uh, problem. Probably a broke solder under CPU or anything like that. So I will say, let's open this one. Can be a RAM issue. You remember HP, we have like few HP with uh, broken uh, pins on the RAM socket. But let's test it first, yeah? Let's test it. So pressing the power button, the laptop it is coming on. I mean, yeah, the laptop is on, but it's no picture on the screen. Okay. Let me try and flex the laptop, how the customer said. So flexing from this corner, pressing the power button. Okay, the laptop is on. And we have picture. You can see the picture. Yeah, we have picture. And we have Windows and it's like, okay, sorry. So basically it's working fine. Yeah, now let's try. Yeah, check that. You seen? You seen this? Check the check the screen. Check the screen. And now, it's frozen. Check here. It's frozen. Yeah. So even if you make back, you know, bend again, the system is frozen. Yeah. So uh, it's nothing what you can do. Good. So let's fix uh, this problem. Let's open the laptop and try to have a look. Yeah, we are praying. Yeah, everyone is praying. Let's pray to be a RAM socket, because if it's a CPU solder, uh, that's bad. I mean, CPU solder, maybe it's a broken track. You, we're going to never find that uh, broken track. Okay, so I'm pretty sure everyone remember this design. I mean, we made at least three videos with this particular fault. I mean, this fault is so common. I can tell you from now, the problem is the first pin here inside. It's not uh, soldered properly. Let's check to be sure. Let's check. So taking out the RAM memory, let's go under the microscope. And it's looking good. I mean, you know, I don't even want to move the pin, but check that, yeah? Let me zoom more. It's not only the first pin, it's also the second. You can see the crack, yeah? You can see the crack around the solder. I mean, check here, you see the crack here and the crack here? So check here. Here is moving. And even the second pin is broken. Yeah, the other pins are fine. Usually it's only the first pin, but in this case is the first pin and the second pin. Okay, sorry, so what do we need to fix this? Very simple, just a little bit of flux, rosin, perfect. And all we have to do is to solder this pin back. Good. 
this one and this one. Perfect. They are solder perfect or not? Just say it. Huh? They are solder perfect or not? Hmm? Just say the word. So, what's next? Next is to cash in the money, right? The repair is done. Easy uh, job, easy job. <laughs> and the laptop, it is coming on. And we can burn the laptop on every possible way, and now it's working fine, yeah? You can see the mouse is working. Now, bending the laptop on every possible way is not freezing anymore, you can see? Because this is a common issue. That's the reason what, why we are making, you know, videos with this fault, we are sharing the videos just to people to know if they have this fault on this particular laptop, how to fix it. You don't really need a skill to fix uh, this kind of fault. Basically, all you have to do is to try to solder uh, uh, the, the first pin or the second, on this case, the first and the second pin uh, to re-solder them back. Never happen on the other pins, yeah? Just here inside first pin or like we've seen here the second pin you don't need a microscope or something you know just solder iron okay bro i can't even cover 10 minutes that's crazy uh okay that was too short uh i should make it longer okay Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So if you try to build a name, yeah, you have to try to build a name of your business. So I fix that problem and let's replace the thermal paste, right? Yeah, you can do it for free for customer. Yeah, and you build a name. You tell the customer, I fix your problem and I replace the thermal paste. And you know what? I will not charge you for the thermal paste replacement. So all what I'm trying to do is to be sure the customer is satisfied and happy with my services. You can see we have some dust there, we can clean the dust, we can replace the thermal paste, and you give something extra. It costs you nothing, it costs you like probably like five minutes. Cleaning the thermal paste. We clean the dust, yeah, the thermal paste. Let's apply a new thermal paste. We have the MX4, which is a little bit older one, but it's still good. A chipset and the CPU. Perfect. And that's how you make a customer happy. So what a happy customer it will do? A happy customer, it will tell to another customer. What an unhappy customer it will do, an unhappy customer it will, tell, it will tell to 10 more potential customers, uh, he is unhappy. So you see, that's why we have to keep uh, the customers happy. Right? You try to build a name, you try to provide best services. That's what I called going uh, an extra mile for the customer. Perfect. So we clean the fan, we replace the thermal paste, we fix the customer issue with the RAM socket. I believe all what we can do right now is to take the battery out, test the battery, and give the customer the battery parameters, you know, how to use this, and charge him 20 pounds more. What do you think about that? <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, I'm just joking. Okay, let's put the laptop back. And I believe it will be like 10 minutes video. Yeah. I can't monetize the videos if are under 10 minutes.
why I'm trying to monetize the video is because otherwise you'll not get advertised on the video. If you don't get advertised, probably you'll get bored on my videos, and I don't want you to get bored. <laughs> Just joking. Okay, so this laptop is fixed. It is a proper fix. So I'll call this uh, a repair. We use only proper calibrated solder wire and that's all. Okay, all good. Again, it's working, bending the laptop on every possible way and it's still working. Okay, good. So I'm gonna stop now. Now you know how to do it. I will say uh, thank you for watching, you know, just like, subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one. Bye.